counting electrons, there are three simple rules whenever we're counting electrons. Um, number one is if I, if I have a number or a subscript below one of the elements, it tells me how many of those elements there are. Now be careful. Um, elements always start with a capital letter. And so this is not cobalt. Uh, cobalt would have, I'm sorry, cobalt would have a capital C and a lowercase o. The fact that this C and O are both capital tells me those are two different elements there. This is carbon and oxygen. And so if we don't see a number down there below the carbon, well, we, that's just one. If it wasn't one, we wouldn't even write the letter anywhere. Uh, but the fact that we've put the letter up there tells you it's one. But if it's any more than one, we're going to put the number of those atoms underneath of here. Um, so the first rule is just look at, see what numbers follow it. The second rule is if I have a parentheses like this one over here. Uh, that tells you that inside the parentheses, these are special little elements. And with these guys, we have to multiply by that number that's outside the parentheses, everything that's inside the parentheses. So in this case, I've got uh, nitrogen and oxygen. Normally, if this parentheses wasn't here, that'd be one nitrogen and three oxygen. But because it's inside the parentheses, we have to multiply it by what's outside the parentheses. So this would be one times two. Let me go and write these down while we're going through it. All right, uh, I've got carbon over here is one, and oxygen is two, which is what we have here. Over here, I got 10 SN. Now, 10 is not inside the parentheses, so we just treat it as normal, where there is nothing down here. So we're going to assume that's a one. But because the nitrogen and the oxygen are both inside the parentheses, uh, we're going to take and multiply them. That one that would have normally been there, we multiply it by the two, so one times two is two total nitrogen. And in the oxygen, we take that three that's inside the parentheses and multiply it also by the two. So that's three times two is going to be six total oxygen. The third rule is if I have a number out front like this one. If there's a number out front, you have to multiply everything that's in the formula by that number out front. Okay? Um, so here I have hydrogen. I don't have two hydrogen. I have 2 times 18, which is going to be 36 hydrogen. And then my oxygen, same thing. If the number's out front, it's really important. You multiply everything by it. Would be, again, it's not one oxygen. It's going to be 18 times 1, which is 18 oxygen. This one down here is, let's do this one, because this one has both of the situations where I have a number out front and I have something in parentheses. And so you have to do both of those rules for this. Let's just list out the elements first. I have lead, which is PB. I've got nitrogen, and I've got oxygen. Now, the lead is not in the parentheses, so the only thing I have to worry about with lead is this number out front. So it's not one lead. It's going to be three lead. Because, again, I'm not worried about the parentheses with lead. It's, it's out there out by itself, so the only thing I have to worry about is that number out front. With these two guys in the parentheses, I have to do both rules where... First, I have to multiply by the number outside the parentheses. And then, because that number's out front, and I have to multiply everything by that number out front, then I have to come back and multiply it again by the number out front. So in this case, I have one nitrogen here in the parentheses inside, but it's one times two will give me two. And then two times three is going to be six nitrogen. And then the same thing with oxygen. I'm starting off with a three. But because it's in parentheses, I'm going to multiply it by that little 2 out front. So 3 times 2 is 6. And then I take that 6 and I multiply it by that 3 out front. So 3 times 6 is going to be 18 total oxygen.